is there anything in science to you that is beautiful? Or rather, what is the most beautiful thing that you know of in science? B equals MC squared. That's really? Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> it is. So that equation doesn't just have a great publicist. It's actually... Oh, it <laughs> Because everybody knows it, everybody knows it, but also everybody knows Coke, you know? It's like right, the yeah. Coca-Cola of science. Yeah, you learn E equals MC squared before you even know what any of those symbols mean. You, you, you hear it in elementary school. Uh, it's a gorgeous thing. It's, it's what is beautiful about E equals MC squared? First of all, tell everybody what all the pieces mean. Well, E uh, stands for energy, and M is mass. C squared is just the speed of light squared. That's just, ignore that for the moment. The thrust of that equation is that energy and mass are equivalent to each other, which means you can transmute one into the other and back. What makes it extraordinary is that that hardly ever happens in our everyday lives, yet it's going on all the time in the rest of the universe. And so... So, so we're in this little pocket where E equals MC squared never is not visible. It's not visible. It's not, it's not happening in our lives. No. No. But if it did, the world would be really different. Light coming from that bulb would all of a sudden pop into a particle. And the particle would combine and pop back into light again. Would it hurt? <laughs> it can, yeah. It, it would can? sterilize you. There's a lot of, yeah. The kinds of particles that would do that, that they would sterilize you, yeah. That'd be bad. I've had my kids. <laughs> so it goes on in the center of the sun. It went on at the Big Bang. It goes on throughout the universe, wherever it's hot and heavy. It, that's what, well, what is beautiful about it to you? It's simple. It's simple, yet it accounts for hugely complex things. And for me, that is where the beauty lies in the truth. No. If, if I had to give you a complex theory to understand a complex phenomenon, you know, send me home. Because what, what's the point? Well, now, now there's, no, there's no tablet in the sky that said it had to be simple to end up being complex. It's just a remarkable fact about the universe. So why not celebrate it? The fact that pi, pi, that, that pi, pi, right? <laughs> let's, let's say the numbers together. 3.14592. 3. That's over here. That's a nerd fest. We got a geek thing going on over there. Not bad. Not bad. The fact that you take a circle of any size, a circle the size of the universe itself, and divide it by its own radius, and you get that number, that's beautiful. I have to pause, and I, I get misty thinking of this. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, that's just another one. Another one. That the atoms and molecules in your body. <laughs> are traceable to the crucibles in the centers of stars that manufactured these elements over its lifespan, went unstable on death, exploding its enriched guts across the galaxy, scattering it into gas clouds that would ultimately collapse and make a star and have the right ingredients to make planets and people. Which means we are part of this universe as I've said many times, and this is, goes back, the, the, not only are we in the universe, the universe is in us. That is a profound concept. And it was, the, I think it's the greatest gift that astrophysics gave culture in the 20th century. It's a research paper in 1957, and I say that because one of the authors just died like two days ago, Jeff Burbage. Burbage, Burbage, Fowler, and Hoyle. One of the most famous research papers that no one ever heard of. You know why, I think? Because it had four authors, not just one, and it took a decade to figure out, and it wasn't just somebody burning the midnight oil, so it doesn't lend itself to poetry or screenplays, because it's a collaboration, so nobody wrote about it. But we knew that we are star stuff. We knew that we are stardust at the middle of the 20th century that connects us to the universe like no other fact. That's beautiful.